Hi guys, I'm Supercarsboss305 and welcome to a new video here today on my channel. Happy New Year, first video of 2018, although it's not the first video of 2018, it's the first video I've filmed in 2018. Um, so yeah, this year's going to be really good, hopefully. So yeah, we're going to start it off by doing something really big today. We're going to go and do a vlog down at Romans International because they have got a Pagani Wire for sale. One of five in the UK and I am so looking forward to seeing this thing. Really hoping to have it in, on display, if not then I'll just have to... Uh, beg a little bit to uh, go look at it but yeah very much looking forward to this so let's jump in the Fiesta and let's get on to Romans International. So I've arrived at Romans International, I have to be quite quiet but in front of me is the Vira and it's in transformer mode so let's have a little look. Goodness me, this thing is insane. This thing is literally insane. It is a spaceship. So, let's go through the car. So this car has a 6 litre twin turbo V12 produced by AMG, as we can see there. Produces 720 brake horsepower has a top speed of 231 miles an hour, which is mind-blowingly fast. This particular example has got all the signatures of everyone at Pagani who built this car on it. It's honestly got the ratio Pagani on the side like all wires do. Inside just looks so futuristic. We've got that exposed lever down there, which just looks awesome. Paddles and everything. Seats don't look the comfiest, but I'm sure if you're driving this thing, you're not really bothered about the seats. If you own one of these, you own it for the looks and the power. So this one is a UK registered one, as we can see there. And believe it or not, this car has done over 7,000 miles, which on a Wira is quite a few. Bearing in mind there are only a hundred of these in the world. Got that quad rear exhaust, which looks awesome. Doesn't make the best of noises, but if you get the Tempesta upgrade on this thing, then the exhaust changes and you get an amazing sound. Just look at the way this engine is built and all held together the struts and all the carbon fibre, the Pagani on the uh, exhaust back there, even the little things like Pagani down there on that piping. It's just insane. And of course it's got going doors, which is a must for a hypercar like this. Absolutely insane. whole car is practically carbon fibre look, all carbon fibre underneath the uh, bonnet, the bodywork, all the doors, the cup and tub, even the rear deck, and the engine bay, it's all carbon fibre. One of my personal favourite highlights of the wire is the wheels, I just think they look absolutely like insane, I love them, and the fact that they are sort of deep dish as well, which when you compare it to McLaren P1's wheels, for example, they look incredibly cool. I just noticed this what P1 looks like too. It's got a little bit of a flat tyre, but there we go. Absolutely insane. The wing mirrors are up on the bonnet, which is very cool. They've got the carbon by the stalks. In fact, the whole wing mirror is it's one piece with the. Uh, Italian flag on the side, it just looks insane. Somewhere inside the car, I'm not quite sure where, I think it's down there, there's a plaque which says which number it is, 58 of the 100 built. Absolutely mental. 
And this thing makes something like a Carrera GT look so basic and boring. Especially when it's in transformer mode like this. Absolutely insane. I've been lucky enough to see four other wires, but I've never seen one in transformer mode like this and it looks it looks so cool. It just does. The rear light cluster signature piece of the wirer that carbon bit that goes down the middle these are there's four of them there's two on the back and then there's two on the front as well and they open and close there's one and there's the other they open and close to let air throw uh, air flow through the car and to keep it stuck to the road as possible because if you spin off in one of these it's going to be one hefty bill one hefty repair bill. Just look at the size of the tyres though. I have no idea what sort of thickness these tyres are. Oh, 335s. Goodness me, that is thick. I mean, P1 also has very thick tyres, but this car, you, the way you can see them, is just insane. P1 has 305s. For comparison there. And it has got a bit of storage. There's two boxes, there's one here, and then there's one on the other side as well, which I believe is your luggage storage, which, I mean, you're not gonna take this car on long distance road trips, are you? This is a car for impressing people, for showing off a little bit. You put it on a truck and take it down to Monaco, you wouldn't drive it down to Monaco, would you? Although the previous owner of this car obviously did drive it quite a bit. Absolutely insane. And a massive, massive thank you to Romans International for letting me have a look at this car. So there we go. The Pagani Wire. So I've just come to edit the Pagani Wire video and realised I hadn't put an ending. So uh, yeah, I'll do the ending now. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, if you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of the Pagani Wire, because I think it's honestly a stunning, stunning car. And I love it so much. Um, quick little update as well. I've still got videos to come from last year. I know I don't have time. I'm, I haven't got any time at the moment to edit anything. I'm so busy, so flat out. So, yeah, there will be videos coming out um, from last year still. I just wanted to get this video out now, because it's obviously... Well, we're quite a few days into the new year now, but yeah, it's a new year and I just wanted to do something a little bit different because a Pagani wire won't stick around for long. So yeah, that's going to be the end of the video, guys. If you did enjoy, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video.